This sounds like a pretty big move and a quite an ambitious sort of plan here, if true. If this was to happen, it's a huge change for how people live in China. It's a huge change for how the government is working with the housing sector. And it's going to be it mean massive changes, not only for you know, what the, how the government works in the economy, but also how people save their money and, and where they put their investments. So, you know, if, if this does happen and is rolled out across the country and the governments of, of various provinces buy millions of homes, I think this is a real sea change in not only the housing crisis that we've seen, but also uh, going forward how, how the economy works, uh, you know, across the country. Steve, you chime in. Yeah, I mean, look, if you're reading into this story, you see that this plan, obviously, as Yvonne said, they're seeking consultation yeah. from local governments, also banks and government agencies as well. It basically says, uh, according to our sources, local SOEs, state-owned enterprises, would be asked to help purchase unsold homes from distressed developers. Mm -hmm. So this is not necessarily good news for the distressed developers, except that they're able to get them off their balance sheet, of course, but at steep discounts, according to the story, using loans provided by by state banks. Well, okay, I see a couple of big problems. Uh, obviously, we know at the, the the debt levels at the provincial levels yeah. uh, have risen to what uh, 56 percent of GDP last year. So there's a huge strain on local government finances, and now you're going to put more pressure on them and more pressure on the banks as well. Their balance sheets are already under pressure. Uh, so th there's a lot of things to really work out here, and I think uh, that's why it's not necessarily being announced yet. Could take quite some time. Uh, but you know, unsold housing inventories climbed to 3.6 billion square feet last year, the highest since 2016. So it's going to take a lot, according to uh, a lot of money, yeah. a lot of fiscal stimulus, if you will, mm -hmm. and spending. Uh, Tianfeng Securities says it would cost at least 7 trillion yuan, nearly 1 trillion U.S. dollars, or 78 percent of China's budget deficit this year, for the government to absorb the inventory over the next year and a half. I'm not J saying that they're yeah. going to do that, but a huge price tag. Yeah, yeah James, maybe chime in. I mean, 7 trillion, is that something that, you know, in terms of... Is that what's really needed to really scale up a program like this and really to clear the housing inventory in China? And, and do they really have the budget for it? I mean, it, I, I don't know. It's very unclear, like, how, how far across the country this would go. You know, some, some places in China don't have an inventory of unsold houses. You know, there are still housing markets here where people still want to move into, you know, tier one cities and, and, and other cities like that. So this seems like a, a plan that would be help, more helpful for the, the the poorer places and the less developed places where, you know, th there has been a massive overbuilding of housing, which is now, which is now, mm. which was never sold. Um, so whether the, the whole of this would be, or the whole of the unsold inventory across the country would would, uh, would fall under this scheme if it doesn't happen, where there would just be sp specific places. I mean, all of that is very, very unclear at this time. Um, um, but it would require a massive amount of money, as, as Stephen was saying, if they were to, if the government was to roll this out. And you know, there's a massive amount of debt that it would have to be taken on to pay for for, for these homes. So you know, how how this would right. be paid, how, how sustainable is that, and how much demand is there to actually live in these houses as well is another problem. Because you can buy all the houses you want in many of these smaller cities. Is there actually people willing to to move into those places or not? Is another question.